Emotions run high when people talk about executive salaries. American CEOs earn over 300 times more than the average employee, which can anger frontline workers making minimum wage. The frustration is understandable, but my colleagues and I moved beyond the emotion and studied compensation design as a strategic tool to motivate performance. So, what is the best way to attract and motivate high achievers? Companies can learn three important lessons from sports tournaments like Wimbledon. Lesson one: Think vertical. First, companies must distinguish between vertical and lateral pay gaps in their hierarchies. Lateral gaps exist when workers at the same level of a company earn different wages. These gaps, when unjustified, can demoralize people and create feelings of injustice. This is partly why Wimbledon, under pressure, equalized its prize money for men and women in 2007. Since then, the tournament has no lateral gaps. All players who advance to the same level get the same pay. Vertical pay gaps have a different effect. People expect to earn more when they climb a rung on the corporate ladder. Just like tennis players expect to earn more when they advance at Wimbledon. Think what would happen if all the players got paid the same just for showing up. Low performers might welcome equal pay, but high achievers would lose their incentive to die for volleys and chase down lobs. Lesson two: Add transparency. Many companies shroud their pay schemes in secrecy, but vertical pay gaps need transparency to work as a motivator. People can't respond to an incentive unless they know about it. Wimbledon players know exactly how much money is on the line when they reach match point. The same degree of transparency might not work in a corporate setting, but awareness of pay ranges associated with each step in a hierarchy can motivate effort. Workers confident in their ability to deliver results will gravitate to companies that pay for performance, like a tournament with winners and losers. Risk-averse people looking for guaranteed raises based merely on showing up will go elsewhere. Lesson three: Spread the wealth. There has been a lot of attention on executive pay. And who tops the list of CEO millionaires? However, our research shows that rank-and-file employees care more about the pay gap between them and middle managers. Looking at Wimbledon can help explain why. Five-time champion Serena Williams might care about the grand prize amount, but only a few players in the world have a reasonable expectation of winning Wimbledon. Most players would be happy. Just to advance one or two rounds. Likewise, frontline workers might not see themselves in a C-suite, but they might be motivated to lead a team when they see rewards within reach. Compensation design matters, and not just at the top. <laughs>